Well, here we are in Bristol Harbour looking at the lovely ship Balmoral, which is a motor uh, cruiser um, uh, able to carry about 800 passengers, was built in 19 or laid up in 1949 and has been a pleasure cruiser for many years um, following its initial work uh, going ferrying people across and cars to the uh, Isle of Wight from Cowes. Um, but uh, now being restored by a group of uh, dedicated volunteers. It's been off, uh, not been sailing for a little while, uh, but um, fantastically, uh, I was just looking at this and filming it for Max Machines, and uh, uh, one of the volunteers, uh, Maggie, kindly uh, let us go and have a look inside, so we will see some bits of it in a minute, including the engine room. <laughs> Sorry, original Sirens, but yeah. the other one's had an interval um, going into reverse system, whereas this has got its own separate little oh, right, engine okay. on the end. But we've also got all the um, the original telegraphs. Oh, okay, ding ding, full power. Yeah, that way. You see the repeater. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've oh, got telegraphs as a system, and it still requires an engineer to actually do something. Yes, not a direct connection. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, look how polished it is as well. I oh, love this. Is. Yeah. And you've presumably got some other sort of smaller engines, generator, and then what, donkey engines to get air up to. These are Astar, are they? Or? Yeah. It might not be now, but they might have been in the old days. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, the big spanners hang. We've still got the old electrical connections are still big power breakers. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow, look at that. What an engine room. So I'm so pleased, thanks to Maggie, who's one of the volunteers here, we've got to see the engine room of the mighty Balmoral. How? Can't argue with that. And that wasn't booked in, uh, Maggie just let us come in here and have a little bit of a film. So hats off to all the volunteers that keep this great ship going. And uh, you know, they don't get any lottery funding really. You know, it's not that sort of thing. It's all people putting their time and effort in and helping out, preserving this magnificent, magnificent ship. Fantastic, look at that for an engine. Crikey, this is Mac would shoot me if I turned up with that. <laughs> Now we're here at the bridge looking at the uh, incredible controls, proper ship's ship's wheel, and uh, look at that for a compass, eh? Cool, oh, fantastic. Unfortunately, there was an alarm going off, so I won't use the original audio where um, Maggie was kindly sort of taking me through things uh, because it it was it just sounds too bad with that alarm going off. You wouldn't you wouldn't thank me for that. Uh, but what she was saying is that it does look a bit more sort of antique than actually the age of 1949 would make you think, you know, because it was probably designed well before that. And this is one of the sort of last bits of the film, which was the saloon. Remember, you know, I was just invited on because I was filming it, so, uh, you know, it wasn't sort of set up, but uh, what a fantastic machine. <laughs> also, uh, those beautiful engines as well, so circa 800 horsepower each, and I bet that's all at 2,000 RPM, real grunt, real diesel power. Twin props on this. Twin ruddles, rudders, uh, controlled, of course, uh, from the bridge, all mechanical, I'm sure. Well, there might be some hydraulics, but 1949, I guess it's sort of more likely to be mechanical anyway. And uh, that's the huge funnel, um, <laughs> and probably does need it when those diesels are on full, full ahead uh, or full astern uh, from that telegraph. But uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed it. Thanks so much to the, the team down at Balmoral. Uh, if you do like the video, please remember to like and subscribe. I will put the information about how you can support this and donate uh, in the link. Cheers for now.